All right, guys, just back here with another video. So Pierre Polyev released a new ad today, and it's uh, pretty quick, but just exposing the horrific uprising in the rent increases since Justin Trudeau has been office. So let's have a look at this, and then we'll talk about it after like usual. That's more than triple. So yeah, like I said, it wasn't um, wasn't necessarily anything new. However, to actually see those numbers, Montreal has more than doubled; it's tripled. Same with uh, Mississauga, I believe. And what would happen if we had Trudeau win for four to eight more years? It's gonna double and triple again, isn't it? And that's why we need someone who is fiscally conservative in office, because when when liberals are in office. All they do is make a ton of financial mistakes, and then the conservatives, instead of getting onto their their agenda as soon as they get in, they got to spend the first couple of years just cutting all the nonsense that the all the nonsense policies, these spending policies that the liberals keep voting for and passing. So then the conservatives have to get in there, and they got to undo all that, and then they can get to work. It's it's really frustrating that even once Pierre Polyev gets in office, we're still going to have to wait a couple more years before these you know, the rent crisis and the housing market gets under control. So it's, you know, it's, it's just really frustrating. That being said, I mean, it's a good ad. Um, it is repetitive and Justin Trudeau doesn't really have anything. I mean, what can he possibly say about that? Can you just deny the numbers and say, oh, actually rent hasn't doubled when we all know it has. And in some cases it's even triple. Now, another interesting thing I have here is it looks like now last week I made a video and I reported on the fact that there's about 20 liberal MPs uh, who are kind of forming a little anti-liberal coalition against Justin Trudeau and they want him to resign. Well, apparently that number is now up to 47. So I am told that 47 liberals MPs have signed on to remove Justin Trudeau as leader of the liberal caucus and prime minister. To those 47, you have my respect and support. Uh, I got something to say about that in just a second here, but I'll finish this guy's message. So my message to liberal MPs who are nervous to sign on, the era of Justin Trudeau is over. The liberal party will always be bigger than one person. History will treat those who saved our party and our country from Pierre Polyev with the highest reward. Um, yeah, again, I, I, not going to happen. But either way, he's basically saying I'm excited about our next chapter as a liberal, yada, yada, yada. To those of you, who have, to those 47, you have my respect and support. Why do you think those 47 MPs are essentially trying to remove Justin Trudeau as their leader? Because when they go door knocking, when they're out on the street and they're riding, their own supporters are telling them that they're not going to vote for them because Justin Trudeau is at the top of the ticket. So they know those voters are likely going to stay home if Justin Trudeau doesn't resign, which means they're going to lose their job. There's nothing brave about what they're doing at all. They don't have a problem with Justin Trudeau's policies. They have a problem with the way that Canadians are negatively reacting to those policies. And now they're scared of a job or losing their job. To save us from Pierre Pouli, I mean, obviously this guy is a liberal. But that being said, the one thing I guess we can agree on is that it's a good thing that all these MPs are um, you know, turning against Trudeau. That being said, it's for obviously for different reasons. This, these guys think... This guy thinks that these guys and, and ladies are you know, heroes and they're coming out against Trudeau because they've seen the real evil. That's not the case. It's all for selfish reasons. They know they're going to lose their job if they don't. If Trudeau stays in, how many MPs are going to lose their jobs? Liberal MPs, that is. 100? 120? And I bet all 40, 70 of these, of these MPs are MPs that are one of the 100, 120 that are going to lose their jobs. 
And let me tell, let me just repeat this one more time. That's the only reason they are doing it. It's not because they care about Canadians and they are just upset with these disgusting rent hikes and the, you know, inflation and the shortage of housing and the massive immigration issue that we're having and yada, 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 crime, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They don't care about that. They just care about the vote. That's the only thing they care about. It's the only thing they'll ever care about, which is why we as Canadians have to hold them accountable to get them to do what we want. Because if we don't, they'll just do what they want, clearly. That's why they're in this mess in the first place. Because we didn't hold Justin Trudeau accountable nearly enough. And now there are these 47 liberal MPs, these brave MPs, are running scared now and they want Trudeau out to save their own asses and for nothing else. So, I mean... Don't believe that these people are brave. They're not. They're actually cowards. Because what are they going to do if they lose their jobs? They're going to have to suffer like all the other Canadians who lost their jobs during the pandemic, right? And then had to get new ones after CERB was over. Starting all the way again down at the bottom pole. No benefits. Low wage. When you lost your job where maybe you were making 18, 19 bucks an hour with decent benefits. So you have to start all over again, and they think that was the same thing. They thought it was good that they brought in all these new jobs after CERB. These low-paying, no-union, low-benefit jobs. They were proud of that. So since they're so proud of that, these 47 Liberal MPs, or 100, 120 Liberal MPs who are about to lose their job, they can go and get one of these $15 an hour jobs. But they don't want to, right, obviously, because that's not nearly enough money these days. So they're scared. But then again, half these people probably have their pensions anyway, so... Don't think there's going to be too much punishment for the Liberal Party other than just losing a ton of seats and being embarrassed in the next election. But I'll take it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps grow the channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll be back shortly with a new video.